I'd like to take a look at the moment that if Oregon fans didn't know you before, everybody knew you then. It's a play every Oregon fan has seen so many times, but I want to rewind before that play, before that game, you wake up in the morning and you've got the Washington Huskies coming into Autzen Stadium. If you could, before we dive too deep into the exact moment, tell me a little bit about waking up and getting prepared to take on one of the best teams in the nation at the time. Well, like you say, those guys was, you know, everyone knew about the Huskies. Huskies was at the top, you know, not just in the pack, at Pac-10 at the time, but, you know, nationally. So all week, you know, it was just, yeah, I can tell it was something different. I was young. I didn't really get the rivalry. I really did not being from there. Uh, but I can tell with the older guys, it's just a little bit different. So, uh, you know, for me, it was young, dumb, just want to get out and play. Yes, it's a big game. Hey, I can't wait till we get here. So uh, that was my attitude. You know, it was just excited, just wanting to play because, we're playing against a team that, you know, a lot of people didn't give us a chance to beat. So that, that in itself was enough for me to get up for the game. Now I suppose we have to dive into the moment that rings true in all Oregon fans' ears and hearts. Anytime somebody goes to Autzen, they will inevitably hear the words, Kenny Wheaton's going to score, Kenny Wheaton's going to score. <laughs> that entire play, everyone thinks of the moment where you run into the end zone, drop the ball, the whole team celebrates. But the entirety of that play, at what point did you realize that you were going to have a shot at the ball, you were going to have a shot to make a play? And when you were out there on the field, given that opportunity late in the game, especially as a young player, as you mentioned, what were you kind of thinking and feeling in those moments? Well, for me, I, I and I've said this from day one, is that, I truly believe that I knew the ball was coming to me. They was going to throw it to my guy. From watching film that Thursday uh, before the game, you know, I told my roommate, every time they get in this set down near the goal line, they run this out. And I told him, I said, Jai Figueres, I said, hey, I'm going to pick it off. And he just looked at me and smiled and kept walking to the kitchen. But so the play for me, when they broke the huddle, is that's when I knew I'm going to make this play. Now, I didn't know I was going to score a touchdown, but I knew that I was going to get my hands on that ball. And that that was just due to uh, film study. So, you know, and the rest is history. It was just I was just telling myself as they lined up, just catch it. Don't drop it. Just catch the ball, Kenny. It's all you have to do. And once I caught it, it was I was thinking score. I wanted to touch on that. You say you were thinking score. There's a story kind of in the Oregon community that every single person on the bench as you were running down the field was telling you to go down. Is that true? Yeah. And, and, you know, looking back, that would have been the smart thing to do. But, again, you know, I tell people I was 19. So a 19-year-old freshman at the time, once I caught the ball, I'm not thinking about stepping out of bounds, falling down, not once crossed my mind. You know, once I caught it, it was, you score. You know, that was always my mentality. You know, when I stepped on the football field, I wanted to score from the defensive side of the ball. So, yeah, it didn't cross my mind at all. I should have, looking back, maybe, (laughs) you know, but I was taking score. That moment when you were able to cross the goal line, you have scored. You didn't listen to anybody on the sidelines. You are able to take it back. You are able to score the touchdown. The team piles on you in the end zone, you realize you're going to take down one of the best teams in the nation. How would you describe the emotion of the team around you in that moment? Oh, the team, the team went crazy. You know, once they, you know, jumped all over me in the end zone, on the sidelines, slapping my my head, you know, all the congratulations, seeing the coaches. You know, and that's the, the two things that stand out to me was just looking at the coach's face, how excited, how happy they were. You know, I knew it was it was something big, it was something good. But all I can think about is let let the time run out so I can go in the locker room and call my mom and let her know I just made an interception for a touchdown. You know, that that's where my mindset was 
once I crossed the end zone. I wanted to share that with my mom. Hewer, you're going to go back to throw the ball. Sets up, looks, throws toward the corner of the end zone. It is intercepted! Intercepted! The Ducks have the ball! Down to the 35, the 40. Kenny Wayton's going to score! Kenny Wayton is going to score! 20, the 10, touchdown! Kenny Wayton on the interception! The most improbable finish to the football game!